hi guys welcome back to your channel technical sahil in this video i'll be showing you how we can install cyber panel on linux basically we will use ubuntu operating system in this video and we are gonna use digital ocean but you can use the same method with any other vps provider like linode volter any other the steps are not almost but exact same you just need to select such options which i am doing in this video if you want to copy paste the exact commands i'll show you in this video so in case if you have never heard about cyber panel so let me explain you a bit about cyber panel cyber panel is a web hosting control panel that allows user to manage their websites email and other services basically in simple words it is just a free alternative of cpanel or plus which provides you an interface a gui to host run and manage your websites or multiple websites and email database such of things so the requirements to install this cyber panel is at least have 1 gb of ram and 2 gb would be good but 1 gb is required and having a at least 15 gb of free disk space so without wasting any time let's get started i have already logged in into my DigitalOcean account so let me create one droplet here i am i have to select my location my server location which i am going with new york if you want to run these same commands you need to choose the same operating system which i have mentioned in the requirements which is ubuntu 20.04 rest you can also install the same thing on centos you just need to replace this app with yum and the same commands would be work on this sent to us as well but right now we are looking for ubuntu so let me select ubuntu and 20.04 you can either go with this or this because this is also fulfilling the same requirements but i am choosing this good server because i want the fast output of my commands which i run in the server for the betterment of this video so i am going with this you can also select this one or maybe this one password let me let me create a strong password from here Let me also copy this password because we need it in the future. Now we need to set the host name, uh, which is I am entering my own domain. And we are all set to create our droplet. We can also install the same thing with the marketplace as well, but only few of the VPS providers like DataLocean, Linode, Voltec is providing you the luxury of marketplace. But if you have a just IP and root credentials, so in that case, it would not be easy for you to install the same thing. So that's why I am covering this method to install cyber panels so that it would be convenient for you to just have your root credentials and you are good to go. So our server has been deployed now we just need to copy the ip from here and we will search our ssh client which is putty so we need to paste the ip here username is root password we have just created here and now we need to follow the commands one by one from here this is not related to install cyber panel or anything it's recommended it's good if you deployed a new server so it's always good to update the to update the existing packages
now we need to run this command Guys, all the system packages has been updated. Now we simply need to run this command to install our cyber panel installer file. Here we simply need to type one to install cyber panel and press enter. Now here this is the free option open light speed and this is the paid option which is also provide 15 day free trial but again after trial it will ask you for a license key so our work could be done in the open light speed as well so let me type one and press enter by the way all these options like whatever we want we have to type is all mentioned here so you can also follow the instructions right from here and also from this video so we need to type y and enter now we don't need this remote mysql because we already have one and this will skip our local mysql so either you can press enter which will set the default no and you can either type n and press enter now it is asking us to press enter to continue with the latest version so press enter now here we either choose the default password which is 1234567 and any random password which is generated by this cyber panel command and either our own password so we will set our own password by typing s and press enter password we will copy the same password from here and again we will confirm the same password do you wish to select memcache process yeah we need all the php extensions because we are gonna install wordpress in the future so yeah this is needed press y and enter again press y and enter uh, the watchdog script will automatic run after install do you want to kill the watchdog run no we don't need this but you can again it's optional it is upon you you can either install it or not i am going with not install this watchdog script now it will take some time to install your cyber panel so till then we have to wait
so guys our cyber panel has been installed now it is asking us to would you like to restart your server now so yes we want so we have to type y and press enter now it has closed our connection because we are out of our session uh, because it has restarted now we need to okay and close this window now we need to copy the ip from here and in the new tab we need to we first need to conclude the https after that we can open the cyber panel using the 8090 port we need to confirm this unsecured warning the default username of cyber panel is admin and the password we have created this so let me just copy and paste and click sign in So guys as you can see we have successfully installed our cyber panel and we are logged in into our admin dashboard so here we can manage all our websites our dns databases etc and don't worry about the commands i will provide the same link in the description below so you can just copy and paste and install cyber panel in your server be either vps or dedicated so that's all for this video thanks for watching